You can say Internet of Things is things which are connected to Internet. First coined in 1999 by Kevin Ashton, Internet of Things refer to devices that are connected to Internet and share data with each other. It is an environment of interconnected devices. Today, there are billions of physical devices working thanks to chip processors and wireless networks. Not only computers, laptops or smartphones, but IoT also includes smart devices such as washing machines, door locks, cars, refrigerators, surveillance cameras, toasters and many more. The range of existing and potential Internet of Things devices is enormous and most people use their smartphones to communicate with IoT devices. Let's say IoT makes dumb devices smarter by giving ability to transfer data over the internet. Interconnected devices are a good example to set up IoT network, like smart home, in which various devices such as thermostat, surveillance camera, doorbell and many more devices are linked to one common hub and are accessed by home owner or we can say user. What was the first ever device based on IoT? The student at Carnegie Mellon University invented the Coke machine having ARPANET connected in 1982. After 8 years in 1990, John Romke introduced Toaster which was first ever IoT device connected to computer via TCP IP protocol. And then in 1999, Kevin Ashton coined the word Internet of Things. Back then, the idea was sometimes called Embedded Internet, which did not describe accurately. The adoption of RFID tags in IoT devices proved as cost-effective and these gadgets can easily connect to one another. RFID means Radio Frequency Identification. These tags are low-power chips that can communicate wirelessly and with the help of IPv6 protocol which provide enough ID for every device around the world make them even better for communication over network. The whole game changed when LG announced the world's first internet-enabled refrigerator in 2000. Sadly, at that time sale didn't go well and LG stopped the production because price was considered too high. After production of various devices connected to internet, huge publishers, newspaper and magazines started mentioning Internet of Things in their articles and opened the term to public telling about what is IoT. That was starting stage of IoT and even development of internet. And then advanced stage came in in which we have already seen Google self-driving cars, smartphones, small robots, cameras, IoT in healthcare departments, smart glasses and so many more categories. But how IoT works? I mean how device really integrates internet? First of all, imagine a device which collect data using sensors. These sensors are RFID tags. That collected data is then transferred through cloud or some integrated storage with the help of software. Now that software analyze the data and transmit to user via some kind of medium on which they are accessing like website or application. The simple example about the internet of things is smartphones. It's just a phone but with 10 or more sensors collecting data, analyze or interpret and give us output on our screen. Well, think of life without having temperature sensor. We wouldn't know about upcoming weather. Even artificial intelligence can't be a real thing if there is no natural language understanding. You wouldn't go anywhere now without your GPS, which is network location sensing. Even hackers will use Internet of Things devices to perform DDoS attacks. According to Gartner, 
there were more than 20 billion devices connected in 2019 and it will top more than 40 billion by 2021. Consumers won't be the only ones using IoT devices. Cities and companies will increasingly adopt smart technologies to save time and money. The cities will be able to automate, remotely manage and collect data through things like video camera, surveillance systems, bike rental stations, taxis and much more. In a way, our lifestyle will be much easier and efficient in future with the help of IoT. But if there is problem in connectivity or any obstacles in communication like internet went down, it will be IoT's main limitation. That's all guys, thanks for watching, if you like our video, give the thumbs up, consider subscribing and see you next time.